Joseph Banner left some wonderful advice on how to use your consciousness in such a way that God will be able to help you manifest your dreams. So in case you have been struggling realizing your goals, perhaps this video will provide a better way of going about your business. So let's begin. The law is, whatever is before you to do, do it the best you know how, in order to please your God self. For he placed you just where you are now and provided the particular task confronting you as the best means and opportunity in which to teach your human mind the next lessons you are to learn and to develop in you the spiritual qualities you still lack in order to make your human self a perfect instrument for his use. Then in doing that task, for he provides all tasks and brings you to all problems, having now given yourself over wholly to him, you are concerned only that you do what is before you the best you can, knowing that he will provide the power, understanding and ability needed, and that you are not responsible anymore for results, as they are all in his keeping. For have you not put the full responsibility on him, are now trusting everything to him, and consequently you no longer have any fears, doubts or worries to clog your mind and prevent his accomplishing his purpose for you? Only by thus yielding all to him can you be a clean and open channel through which he can bring through into being the good and perfect things he intends to manifest in your life. For he can intend nothing less than that, else why all the trouble he has taken with you. It is all a matter of trusting, dear friend, of trusting the God within you. If you have failed in the past, no matter how hard you tried, it is because you did not trust enough. Therefore, we are bringing this great truth closer by asking you truly to trust the God within, your higher self, the Christ of you, who we have shown as all the wisdom and power of God, to let go utterly and put all your trust in Him. You must learn thus to trust until it becomes the supreme and dominant influence in your consciousness, for the only thing that prevents your good from coming into natural and continuous expression is your lack of real faith and trust in the God within your Christ self. This means that if instead of faith and trust you still let fears, doubts and worries into your mind, then of course there they cause you to build negative pictures of the things you are fearing and you proceed to entertain and feed them by further fears until they become actual living things in your mental world. In time they largely control your mind and you are helpless. And naturally every time you succumb to them you grow more helpless. Is this not true? Then what is the solution? Only one thing. You must let go completely and turn the whole problem over to God. Do that actually. Wash your hands of it, step out from under and throw the entire responsibility upon him. Think. Can you do that? Try it. In fact, he wants you to do it. Talk to this God within, the real self of you and tell him that you are through, that you have done your best and that is all you can do and it was useless and now it is up to him, he will have to handle it. Actually mean it and then let go and truly wash your hands of any responsibility. And then, and not until then, has he got your mind in the state where it is ready to hear his voice and learn what he has in store for you. For once it has really thrown off the burden of self, there is no longer a negative force attracting the old fears, doubts and worries. Instead you become a positive force in your believing that he will now take care of all things, for you intend to do nothing and to give him the chance to prove what he can do. It is to just that state of mind he desires to bring you, where you actually let go, giving the load you are carrying over to him, and thereby become as free as a little child, just such a child as we will now picture to you. Standing on the sidewalk of a busy street waiting for the light signal is a little boy of three years whose hand is tightly clasped in that of his father. Then they start across. Is the child frightened by the big automobiles and the noise and tumult at this busy corner? No. He sees and knows no danger and gleefully enjoys the turmoil and the mixing with the crowd hurrying across, for he knows that dad is taking care of him and will not let any harm come to him. Just as he unconsciously knows that dad will feed and clothe him, for to him dad is as God who will provide everything he needs and take every care of him. Think you your God self does not love you and is not taking equal care of you, his child. For are you not part of his being and does he not need you to express his self? 
then how could he let you really suffer or come to any harm? What your human mind suffers and the dangers it fears are only the nightmares of childhood which disappear when the light of understanding is brought. Besides, such mental suffering actually burns away the qualities of self that hinder his perfect expression, while through the fears that come and persist, he teaches you how to become strong. It is these mental fears, for they are purely mental, that is, they exist in your mind, not in his consciousness, that are clogging your mind channel and preventing his pouring through it the good that awaits. And then you will have to cleanse your mind of all such negative things, of every doubt, fear or worry, and especially of those wrong pictures you are carrying around in your consciousness. Do you still see yourself as sick or ailing or poor or very much needing anything? Then can you not realize it is that picture which is clogging up the channel? For what you think and carry around in consciousness as being so always outmanifests itself. How can the good you wish to manifest get by that picture? That is the whole trouble, dear friend. You have not cleansed your mind of those old picture beliefs, some of which are hiding down in the dark corners of your subconsciousness, purposefully refusing to come out into the light, for they know, the moment you see them for what they are, their days are numbered. In fact, you must go down into the subconscious and dig out all such and cast them forth, for until the whole mind is clean and free of all negative and untrue thoughts and feelings and is kept so, it cannot be brought into your God consciousness where there are only positive, true, good and perfect ideas about you and you can see all things in their reality, even as he sees and you know as he knows, your mind thus becoming a perfect channel through which he can give you your divine heritage which he has so long had waiting for you. Now if you really let this sink in what Joseph actually wrote here, it's going to help you manifest your goals way more effectively and with a lot less stress. In fact, all stress would vanish because you're letting indeed the deeper or you could say the higher self of your soul take care of it because that is essentially God's nature within you that is doing the thinking and acting through your body at that point. So usually our issue is that we're so caught up in our own limiting thoughts and feelings as a human being that we therefore have issues manifesting our dreams, but if we let go of it and let God, our higher self, do the work, well then magic can happen in your life. Now if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.